Yo, what is going on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at the profitability for February. Uh, before we look into the profitability of February, I do want to apologize for posting this video uh, very, very late. I had a lot of things going on. Um, I had this monitor on a rig. And uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, with these RTX laptops, you can't record the screen with GeForce Experience unless you have a monitor connected to it which makes zero sense but um i could have used Streamlabs. i could have figured out a way but essentially i just had way too many things going on so i do apologize um for the next march uh, profitability video 100 percent that'll be at the end of the month or april 1st the latest i'm not going to be doing any video this late ever again so i do really really apologize for that but uh let's just get straight into this uh, profitability for february um so February, I think, was an okay month. It was a little bit better than uh, January, a little bit. I, I honestly like the 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 price of Ethereum was very very flat. There's no no crazy price action. Like we saw a few three thousand dollar Ethereum, uh, but the majority of the time, like it just it dipped down to twenty five hundred. I think we even hit a twenty three hundred day. I can't recall, um, but it, it wasn't it wasn't anything crazy. Uh, yeah, right here, 2300 on the 24th. But uh, yeah, there's nothing crazy in terms of price action for Ethereum. Uh, just keep in mind, I'm recording this on the 23rd of March. And right now, the uh, price of Ethereum is actually $3,000. But uh, when I was recording, when I actually made up the stats and I actually tried to record the video, uh, I was basing my uh, estimates for the profitability based on a $2,500 Ethereum. So just keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much, uh, you know, February for you. And uh, the Ethereum network hash rate, honestly, it was nothing crazy for February either. Uh, it, it was pretty much the same, like close to a petahash. Uh, we did hit the highest hash rate on saturday march 12th though but that has nothing to do with february obviously but um hash rate has not been increasing too much um which is interesting because a lot of gpus have become more available like honestly micro center best buy memory express uh you know any type of electronic store has gpus in stock now new egg you know, you can buy them right now. Even EVGA has uh, GPUs in stock on the DIY, B stock, even just the regular product pages, um, which is interesting because you would think skyro uh, hash rate would skyrocket, but it's not. And I think everybody's on the same page as, uh, in terms of miners that, uh, you know, they're cautious of the merge that could be upcoming in June or July. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are uh, speculating that uh, the merge could happen late December instead. Uh, could be pushed back but honestly nobody knows apparently the ethereum de developers are supposed to have a call next month and uh, they're supposed to announce whether uh, if they're pushing the difficulty bomb back or uh, if the merge is really happening in a few months so nobody really knows and i think that's the main reason why people aren't just dumping all their money into cards right now and me included uh, i'm not buying a crazy amount of cards i don't think i've bought a card in almost a month uh, but yeah, man, aside from that, the difficulty has pretty much stayed the same for February as well. Nothing crazy, no crazy spikes. And, uh, well, it did dip a little bit here and there, but nothing crazy. And, uh, I know in the last video I showed you guys my poolside stats. Uh, unfortunately in this video, I won't be doing that because at the time I only had three workers and I think it was at like 1.1 giga hash and, uh, Obviously, if I showed you what I have now, the stats would make zero sense. So for March, I will show you guys the poolside stats. But for the sake of the February video, which is this video, I won't be showing that. Um, so let's have a look into the Excel spreadsheet. And just keep in mind, this is also like a rough estimate. It's not 100% accurate. This is just to track and see if we're generally, uh, you know, if we're generally profitable or not. So uh in february we made one thousand three hundred eighty eight dollars seventy cents and uh, we mined about 0 0.4 eth so the amount of eth we're getting is still the same uh the electric i still kept it at 150 dollars i do add another 20 dollars to this uh, for fees and other types of stuff just in case uh, just to be a more a bit a bit more accurate and then the cost after electric and fees is one thousand two hundred and eighteen dollars and seventy cents so in February, we actually made $20 more, 
right? Uh, but keep in mind, February is a 28-day uh, month, so we did have a few less days compared to January, but... Uh, yeah, man. Uh, I think at the time, you know, Ethereum was worth a little bit more than uh, when I did the January video. Because when I made the January video, like profits got tanked uh, really, really hard. So uh, still, it's still very profitable. Like uh, difficulty is not affecting us. Uh, you know, the profitability is still very, very good. So in conclusion, uh, February mining profitability is still very, very good. Uh, there's nothing to laugh at, nothing to scoff at. It's still mining, still very, very good, still very, very profitable. However, I don't think it's a good time for people to get in, um, you know, unless you plan on like doing this long term, right? And I think that's a, for a whole nother video. But uh, yeah, man, uh, this is pretty much the February uh, profitability video. Uh, you know, I'm curious to know if you're watching this video, like, are you still profitable? Uh, is the electricity rates affecting you and whatnot, or is anything affecting you in terms of mining profitability? Let me know. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace, guys.